can we sort of go off on a tangent a little bit here as far as total conjecture? We don't know, but what do you imagine? Let's let's fantasize a little bit. What what do you imagine that would have done or helped if Bonzo meditated? <laughs> I think for somebody who is a um, a maestro, which he was, um, uh, I think that is a natural state for them. That's what I think. I think that when you're um, when you're, it, it's a, a way of um, of connecting to source. I've heard that he didn't do that much practicing. I've heard that he, um, you know, he was such a natural from the time he was a child. I feel that there's a part of him that is already connected to that place that I'm sitting in meditation trying to find. Right. Um, now, obviously, you know, just because of the way he passed away that, you know, there were probably some emotional things that maybe he could have right. um, benefited a lot from confronting those difficult things, um, which I think is the case for all of us who've, um, you know, indulged in ex escapism through substances. Um, but, um, but yeah, I think, uh, I think the true genius players, um, I think they have a, a connection to that. I think all of us do who are musicians. We all have those moments where we're like, oh my gosh, I've been playing that for, you know, 15 minutes. I thought I just started it. You know, time goes away. We understand how time stretches and, and pulls. Uh, we can sit and do the same pattern for, you know, right. a long time. We can get lost and we can get off stage and feel like we're floating. Like, wow, what just happened? Sure. You know, all of that is our connection. And that's why playing music is just such a gift, I think.